morning, it's just after 5 in the a.m. and I'm en route about 10 minutes away from the start of the Knock 1 2 Ordax, aka a 309 kilometre Ordax with over 4,000 metres, which is about 14,000 feet of climbing. So, gonna be a tough one, and it does go up Great Dunfell, which is apparently the highest paved road in England. So, I'm ready for a challenge and I'm ready for a top of the hill dance because I'll be top of the hill dancing up there, it's very high. So, yeah. Had to get up at 3 a.m. to uh, make the two hour drive, and Kyle the hero is being the chauffeur today because he can't ride because of his knick knack knee. Picked up my brevet and I'm ready to go. For some reason I'm feeling really stressed about this, I don't know why, but I'm gonna do it, it'll be fine, and hopefully I'm back here at some point tonight when the sun's gone down. Feeling a lot less stressy now. I got myself all worked up this morning thinking I couldn't do it, but I'm relaxed now. Sometimes you have those moments of self-doubt, don't you? But you just gotta say, Amy, you can do it, get on with it. Come to the city of Lancaster. Oh, I've just done, hang on. I've just done the second climb out of 15 to do today. So a lot more to come. Yippee! Woohoo! On climb number three of 15, I've got a fellow ride partner now. This is Tom. Hey. He's done PBP as well, so he can give me some tips. Bad tip for Kyle who likes his snacks. Apparently the group that we're in will be queuing for food for hours, so Kyle better bring his snack, strap his sandwich on the back of his bike like he did for, for Land's End John O'Groats. Ugh, can't speak when I'm going up. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I've got climb so five of 22, I don't know about you. I've got climb three of 15. <laughs> Yippee! Woohoo! Oh yeah! It's under a thousand feet up. What's crazy is the Dunfell climb is 2,500 feet, so more than double what I've just done. Control point Nimaho 1, which is Carnforth. Found myself a little petrol station. So far the spend is 60p, so Carl will be happy I'm not spending too much. And I've done 64 kilometres, which is around 39 miles, I think. Just coming into Kirkby Longsdale now, which is where control point number two is. So time to find somewhere to pick something up and get my next receipt. So I'm outside a lovely little news agent in Kirksby Longsdale and I'm really happy because I found Kendall mint cake so I'm really really excited because I had this on my ride to Wales and absolutely loved it. So I'm going to keep this in my back pocket and it's going to be a nice treat on the way up Dunfell later. I've done 50 miles and I'm feeling good. That means I'm over a quarter of the way, I can't believe it. 700 feet up, going up climb number 6 of 15. Uh, bit of a steep one, but keep going. I'll tell you one thing, I'm in Yorkshire. The size of the sheep here compared to Derbyshire they're massive compared to the ones I've seen anyway, but I've got lovely woolly coats on. I'm not gonna need one of them now, I'm sweltering. Look at the size of it, it's probably massive. Oh, look at the size of this hill as well, it's still going up. Dunn's out, it's so nice. I've got one more control point and then I'll be heading up to Dunfell, so I'm gonna get some stock up of fuel there, I think. From my neck. I wish we lived round here to stock up our car fuel. So much cheaper. Nick Cow's filled his van up while he's here. Yippee! Now on the right, just today, you probably can't see it because I'm not close enough yet. But I've just spotted the big golf ball that is Dunfell. So that's where I'm gonna be heading. Eee! But I'm actually really excited to go up there. I'm at control point number three, I'm at Lang Rathby. There's another fella here. Hi. Doing well. <laughs> uh, picked up my favourite banana milkshake. I mean it's not quite uh, um, wheat fix on the go, but I've not found anywhere that does there yet and a water and as you can see I'm a little bit sweaty because it's sunny which wasn't forecast so last night I looked at the weather all week it's been saying it's going to rain all day got my Gore-Tex with me don't need it at the minute it's lovely maybe it's because I'm wearing yellow I channeled the sun today but yeah but I have come prepared I've got my Gore-Tex I've got my wind jacket I've got arm warmers Gore-Tex gloves everything so if I get cold later because I'm probably going to be riding into the dark I'm all sorted and I've got all my puncture stuff so fingers crossed practiced my punctures all afternoon yesterday and these tyres are a lot easier. I've got um, Grand Prix 500, 5,000 gator skins, or Continental, no, not gator skins. Grand Prix 5,000 Continentals on, which are a lot easier to get off. So fingers crossed I won't need to use it. Don't drink it, please, but hopefully it'll be all right. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but that golf ball looking thing in the distance up there, that's where I'm heading. On the road again, going places I ain't been before. So there it is up there. I don't know if you can see it, but hang on, let me see my finger will point it there it's quite in the distance so you can't really see it but that's where me and canny are heading canny's first order that's breaking her in well with the hilly one so. not too long's time hopefully i'll be looking down thinking i was down there singing not long ago so i get lots of um food in today i've been getting better with that because you know i am honest i have struggled with an eating disorder but still struggle sometimes but 
I've been doing better with it recently because I know that the more I eat and fuel myself, the stronger I'm going to get. 4.4 miles, 2,050 feet to climb. Just a little bit. Climbing off this one. Lovely view behind though. I've got 2.5 miles to go. Eh. So just coming up, look in the distance think that looks a bit like Kyle and Chester. And here they are walking up, oh. walking up Dunfell. Kyle, I thought you were staying near the blooming start. No. Think oh. of the petrol cost. No. What I've saved on my snacks, you've spent on blooming fuel. What's that mean? Blooming but that was a nice mood booster, so I'm going to stop here with a little bit of Kendall mint cake and go up. Hey, Chester, baby. Oh, yeah, you like it when Daddy doesn't cycle, don't you? Because it means you can come along. Up, and it looks pretty steep. Yeah, well done. He's already been up and down, blooming heck, he's a speedy one. Yeah, people weren't lying when they said this climb was brutal. Jeez, I can see the top now. There's the golf ball. It's a beautiful view. I've got them to look. Thank goodness, here we are. Oh, I'm 2,766 feet up, according to the Garmin. That was hard. That was harder than Sakalobra. It's meant to be someone here to stamp your breve, but there's no one here. I've been around the whole thing and no one's here. Um, no waiting around, might as well do my top of the old dance. Yippee! I did it! Ooh. But I am a bit concerned because no one's actually here and I'm meant to get a stamp on my brevet, so I don't know what to do. I've been waiting 10 minutes, what should I do? What a downer. I was looking forward to getting my stamp. It's keeping me motivated coming up here. But... Blooming neck, I've been waiting so long. Carl and Chester have made it up here. I'll have taken a photo. Well, so they must... What else can I do? Must What's a girl got to do? They must have got you in the picture. Yeah, I've got me in the picture, and so they can't say I've not been here, can they? I've got photographic evidence right now. Hello, Jizz. Now that Kyle's here, I can do a proper top of the hill dance. The highest point in England on a road. Oh. Right then, let's get back down. Well done. This is awesome. Down I go. Yippee! Yippee! Woohoo! Down I go. Oh, that was a rush. These two guys came whipping past me. Wish I had their confidence going down the hills. I'm always on the brakes too much, I get scared I'm going to fall off or something on a stone. But that was so good. Just so good. I smell some on the brakes. Could you? Coming down. I was like, God, I hope that's not mine. It's probably mine, to be honest. 116 miles in. I had been riding along with some men, but I thought, I need to stop, delay her, and get a pitter down me because. I don't want to end the ride feeling decent as Ed said while, like I have a couple of times. So instead of getting carried away going along with them, I thought, no, Amy, stop, have your snack that you know you should be having. So I'm doing that. But I've got 76 miles to go and I'm feeling good. I'm number 11 of 15. <sighs> oh, hello, little lammies. Hello, babies. Whoa, gee whiz, that was hard. I'm heading towards a tan hill in now, which I think is the highest pub in England. I'm not sure about the UK, but definitely the highest pub in England so I'm ready for it I tell you I'm 1550 feet up but it's so nice you always know your high winds an aerial don't you so nice and peaceful up here I'm in the moorlands I'm hoping over that brow there might be a nice view oh yes there is a nice view and a lovely road look at this it's a nice little yippee sort of road oh it's so beautiful I'm really loving this ride, though it's hard. It is good and I do like a challenge, so going well. I've just been reflecting on how much cycling has literally changed my life. Like in my last video when I cycled to Wales, or it might be a few videos ago now, I said that I left my job as a nurse. I was a nurse for three years, a mental health nurse, but it didn't work out for me. I had a breakdown, but it's a long story, so I won't go into it now, but I just have a very overthinking mind and I couldn't switch off and it all got too much and yeah if I didn't find cycling I don't know where I'd be but I still have moments like I know I'm yippee and I'm being silly most of the time but I still do have moments where I'm like I can't cope with life I can't do this but I know that I have things to look forward to and I know that you know tomorrow I, might, I, feel, I might feel better next week I might feel better so never give up just keep on going I'm going over a cattle grid now that's why I'm pausing really yeah, yeah I think when I have my low moments, which I still do get, and I'm always a worrier, which I try and control. I just know that I've got through it before and I can get through it again. It's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. Like when I left my job, I just felt like such a failure because I've been to uni for four years and I didn't, well, I still sometimes feel like a failure about it now, really, but I suppose that's, oh God, hang on, wiping the snot. 
maybe that's part of the reason why I do these challenges to like prove that I can do hard things, I don't know, but I just love it. Just had to stop to get a shot of these fine specimens. Hey there, little fellas. Blum minute, look at their horns. They're a bit of peaceful life up here, aren't they? Remote. Ah, I'm just so happy to be out cycling and yeah, like I was saying before, I think one of the reasons maybe I come out and do this is because I know that it always lifts my mood. Like when I, even last night, I don't know why I was all stressed about today for no reason. I don't normally get stressed about my rides. My rides at the time are not stressing, but I think because the puncture thing last time, maybe I got a bit worried about it, but I suppose what I'm trying to say is if you struggle with your mental health, never give up because if I'm totally honest, there was a moment like two years ago when I did leave my job, like I had it all planned out that I wasn't going to be here anymore and it makes me teary to think of it really because in that moment I didn't think about the effects of leaving car behind or my parents behind or I was just so wrapped up in the fact that I was a failure and a bad person and no one could convince me otherwise and but I got through it and the bike is a big reason for that as well as my family so and don't get me wrong I still have moments I think I always will have since I've done my A-levels and GCSEs I think when it started and putting pressure on myself and things I've always been hard on myself and I've always had low times and sometimes you know I'm miserable when I'm at home you wouldn't expect that to see me out here but I get through it and you just have to think tomorrow's a new day and you've only got one life so don't worry about your past mistakes no point in dwelling on them I need to tell myself that more because I dwell on mine all the time but when you think about it what's done is done and the future you don't know what's going to happen so just focus on now like these lovely fine specimens that I'm with so yeah that's my serious side over I'm going to get on with it now Van Hillen aka control point number four thank the lord so I'm at the Tan Hillen, which I've just read on the sign, is the highest pub in Britain, not the U not um, England. So treat yourself to a nice hot chocolate. They asked if I wanted marshmallows. Yes, please, I need all the sugar I can get. So I'm getting this down me. I'm also getting this down me. And I've got a salty sweet potato, and I'm not lying, a sweet potato with salt on in my bag that I'm also gonna get down. This is gone, I can't get it. Sweet potato, I mean, it goes lovely with the hot chocolate, I say. And I will say something about the price of the hot chocolate. I mean, I know on the other order, because I was really upset because I paid £4.50 for a hot chocolate. This one's £3.95. I mean, it does have marshmallows on, so I'll forgive them, but... And it is, you know, the highest in Britain, so I suppose they can charge what they want. They did have some little teddy bear biscuits, but they were £3.50, I thought. Can't be affording that, so... I'll stick to this instead. 141 miles down, 50 miles to go, and I've got a nice yippee coming up. Oh, just got to the top of climb 13 out of 15. I don't know what the official name of that climb was, but what I call a leg burner. 1,600 feet up, loving life. Woohoo, along we go. Climb 15 of 15 is complete. I'm in a place called Cecil, and I'm thinking, oh, I'd love to settle into my bed right now. It's a funny name for a cafe, the Old Naked Man Cafe. Fun fact, this morning I actually saw a man's whole bare ass when he was getting into his blooming cycling clothes in the car park. Didn't know where to look. Point of the ride where I start to question why you're doing it. I knew that freedom when I get back is going to be. Mm -mm. I've only got 25 and a half miles left. Come on, Come on Amy, get your headphones going. Oh, I'm coming to the end. It's just just after half seven. I can't believe I'm finishing in the light. I estimated to be back for 10 p.m. I don't know how I've managed that, but oh, if Kyle's here, I told him we we'll finished till 10. Time's on the gravy now. Can never do that when I'm going used to it. I can't believe I got here at 7.30. Yeah. Do you want to leave me Yeah. It's a cycle race on the yeah. telly. As you like to know, what I like to have for tea today. Seems we're back early. It was going to be a late takeaway, but it's an earlier takeaway. I think it's been 25 hours to eight, so head on down into where are we now? Burnley. We're at Peddy and Peddy, you know. Yeah, but there will be one more. Head on down into Burnley. Found the next takeaway, Curry. So the stats are in. Oh, blooming up my voice is going on me, um, Strava. I don't know why I say it like that, Strava. Um, 192 miles, 192.44 miles, 16,797 feet. That's a whole lot of feet. Maximum elevation, 2,788 feet. Whew. But I've just ordered a chicken Rogan Josh. Cows ordered a chicken Boona. So we're ready for our curries. I will not be filming myself eating the curry because I'm going to devour it because I'm so hungry. So. I'll leave you with that. TTFN, thanks so much for watching. If you can hit your pinky on subscribe, I'd absolutely love that because apparently, you know, I'm getting views but I'm not getting subscribers. So someone told me I need to do that. So I don't like to say it, but I'll say it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. TTFN, hope you enjoyed it and have a lovely week. 
Um, I don't know what else I'm going to say, but I think I'm just a bit tired and I'm trying to say stuff that I don't need to say. So, bye.